Hey guys, so today we're doing something a little different. Instead of a tutorial, I'm going to be doing a mini haul for you guys. And I decided to do this because I have some friends that were kind of pushing me to do it and they said it would be, you know, something different that I'd be bringing to the channel. So let's get right into it. Okay, so over the past couple weeks, I've purchased some new products and some products I've also ran out of. And I just wanted to share with you guys. So first, I'll start off with the products that I've already used before and that I repurchased. So the very first thing is the Lancome de Finisils Mascara, and it's the Precious Cells one. And this is by far my favorite mascara ever. I used to use Dior Show, but I found that a lot of mascaras, including Dior Show, would make my eyelashes fall out. And that is like one of my biggest like I hate that. I hate when my eyelashes fall out. I freak out and so what I love about this mascara is it volumizes and it lengthens and I mentioned before that it's actually good for your lashes. The second product that I repurchased is this Clarins Gentle Foaming Cleanser and this stuff, I just recently ran out of it and I've had the one bottle for like like two years and I don't use it every day. I kind of use it like periodically like every other day or once a week or whatever and when I ran out of the stuff I realized how much I loved it. So I had to repurchase it and this stuff is the bomb. It is so amazing. So it's a gentle foam, foaming cleanser. It has tamarind beads in it and what the tamarind does is it actually encourages like new um, cell growth and kind of remove and also removes, de removes dead skin cells. So this is amazing like when i use it my face is so clean and it helps also absorb the oil on your face and as i've mentioned many times before i am extremely oily so this stuff is awesome and it kind of shrinks it also shrinks your pores because it gets rid of the dirt like deep inside your pores and makes your pores appear smaller so this stuff is awesome i really recommend it um you can purchase it at a shopper's drug mart um and it's about 34 bucks and but it's so worth it like you don't have to use very much of it and you can use it for your entire face so this is a must for people who have really oily skin and it says it's for a combination of oily combination or oil, oily skin so if you have if you have dry skin i don't recommend this but for all you oily skin people out there like myself this stuff is awesome and you must have it in your um in your cleansing routine so the next two products are these whitening lightning glosses that I've been hearing so much about. Um, I follow so I follow a bunch of YouTube um, beauty gurus and stuff like that and they're always using these glosses over top of lipstick alone and it looks amazing. So I finally purchased these two colors. I got nude and yeah this one's nude and I got coral craze. Coral craze. So I'll just do swatches for you guys. So what's awesome is that there's a little light when you open the bottle so that when you're out, you know, and you're in a dark place, you can put lip gloss on, which is awesome. And um, there's, so there's the nude. And then the coral craze. The coral craze looks like that. So I'm currently wearing the Coral Craze right now over top of MAC's lipstick called Pure Zen and it just is this perfect nude corally combination that I really love. And what I love about these glosses is, you know how sometimes when you're wearing glosses, it creates this like white gross line on the inside of your lip? This stuff does not happen. Like this stuff does not do that at all. I love it. It's super, the color, you know, the color payoff that you get with it is awesome. And they are about can't remember I think they're like 28 bucks each but I purchased these online on the whitening lightning website and I purchased them during Memorial Day and they were like half off so I got two for one and um, there's tons of beauty gurus out there that have coupon codes and stuff like that and you could you guys could totally purchase these these are by far my favorite lip glosses I've ever used and I'm super excited to purchase more so next product that I purchased is the pore professional primer by benefit so I've heard a lot of amazing things about this primer. I used to be a huge Smashbox um, fan with their primers. I still love Smashbox, but their primers were like my absolute favorite. I used the one that was oil-free and it was the white consistency, which actually absorbed oil. But once Smashbox got bought out by Estee Lauder, they changed their formula and I found it didn't really work as good as well for my skin anymore, so I stopped using it. So then I kind of started using the Stila primer 
that had like three the three colors in it and I did like it but I found it didn't do too much like it did help with oil absorption and stuff like that but I found that it didn't give me that like nice silky feel after you know before I put on my makeup which I really liked um, with the Smashbox so after I finished the Stila one I got my Maybelline um, pore eraser the baby face primer and it's a dupe for the Smashbox um, primer and I really like it, but it doesn't absorb oil or anything like that. So I wasn't too fond of it that much. So I finally decided to purchase the Benefit Professional Primer. And this stuff is amazing. I've only used it once and it goes on so silky and smooth and it really fills in your pores and any fine lines that you have. And it just is the, it creates the perfect canvas to put on your makeup. So it's oil-free, lightweight, translucent, translucent, and it's extremely silky. The only downside to, the, to this is that it doesn't absorb oil. So what I do recommend is before putting your primer on, after you've washed your face, um, to use a mattifying um, fluid or a moisturizer. And I always use my Neostrata mattifying fluid. So I kind of tap that on on my face after I've moisturized. And then I put this over top and it's perfect. I don't get oily with it like together and stuff like that. It doesn't react when you put the two products together. This stuff is awesome. I wish the bottle was a little bit bigger because I can see myself running out of the stuff super, super quickly. So the next product I purchased, which actually came with the professional primer, was this Total Moisture Total Total Moisture Facial Cream by Benefit. And it's just this little bottle. It's only um, 0.3 ounces. It's not very much. But um, I actually tried this on a couple times and it actually moisturizes really well. It is scented a little bit, so I'm surprised it actually works for my skin because I'm extremely sensitive when it comes to like scented things. I generally stick with my Spectro Gel cleanser, cleanser and my Spectro Gel um, facial moisturizer. So I've been using this and for the past couple days and I actually love how my skin feels in the morning. I use this at night because I find it a little bit heavy for my skin in the morning um, but it's a really it's a really good basic moisturizer to have um, it's a small bottle I don't see myself really um, having it for too long but it's extremely hydrating and if you are dry if you have dry skin this is awesome the next product I am going to be showing you guys is this Milani baked blush in the shade Coralina and I purchased this when I went to the States and when I went to Walgreens and I think this was on sale for like three or four bucks. And I am so super impressed with this blush. It's not even funny. For a drugstore blush, it is insanely pigmented. Like, I just need to, t I'll show you guys, I'll do a little swatch for you guys and show you guys how pigmented this blush is. It is sparkly, and this is how it goes on. It's so pigmented, it's like insane. So that's how it goes on. It's a really nice um, baked blush. So there are some like bigger sparkly chunks, but it's not like huge chunks of sparkles, if that makes any sense. Um, this is something for the night, um, you know, to give you a nice like glow to the face and whatnot. But I just loved it so much because it was extremely affordable and the price for it, like the color payoff and like the the consistency of it is like a high-end blush, which I love. Um, what I also like about it is it comes with a little mirror on the side if you flip it, and then it comes with a little um, brush too to apply it. So when I use, I've only used this once, and when I do use it, I literally just like lightly tap my um, brush on it, and then I actually tap off excess because that's how pigmented it is. And I'm wearing it right now, but just very, very lightly. But yeah, this is the Milani Big Blush. If you ever get a chance to get some, I totally recommend it. And I'm actually excited to go back and get the rest of the shades that they have in this line. Last but not least, this is my last product that I have to show you guys. Um, it's the Ana Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Brunette. So I've been using the Smashbox um, Brow Tech for forever. As, like, ever since I started doing filling in my brows, I've been using a powder, which and it was the Smashbox one. So I finally hit pan on it, and I'm kind of like, you know, chipping away at the ends and stuff like that. And I decided I wanted to get something um, new before I completely ran out of it. So I went to Sephora, and I actually was going to purchase the pomade that Anastasia Beverly Hills has. But it was all out, like it was sold out solid, except for one shade, and I think it was Auburn, which was way too late for me. And that was the only one they had. They didn't have any testers of any shade for me to try out, like wiped out clean. So I decided to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills 
um, brow with and the girl tried it on for me and what I love about it is it's extremely natural so I'm wearing it right now on my eyebrows and I wanted something a little bit more natural as opposed to something really dark so I purchased this and it's a real and it has a so it has a brush on one end which you can you know comb your brows and comb your brows through before you apply it and then the pencil's really thin and it's just a little twisty it's just a little twisty thing so um I was a little nervous about purchasing it because I was like my eyebrows are like I have a lot of hair to cover like my eyebrows are a little bit not like super thick but they're thicker and like I was just kind of worried that I'd be running out of the stuff really quickly because this pencil was like 27 bucks and it's super thin. So the girl said it should last about three months. She said that people who run through it, who go through it a lot more, um, probably use too much of it. So I've been using it and it really gives a natural look, which I love, and it's really good for every day. Um, the powder I've been using is was a little bit darker and I would probably only use that for, um, you know, going out and whatnot. And same with the pomade. The pomade is something that is extremely pigmented and, you know, it stays on for a really long time but you re that's, like with the pomade you really get a really bold brow but with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz you get an extremely natural and soft look that like I am totally obsessed with the stuff and I recommend it to everyone it is okay guys so that concludes my mini um my mini makeup haul I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you know maybe we'll try out some of the products that I recommend uh please let me know what you guys think give this video a thumbs up and comment below and Please don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!